For two days, I come back, we've got all this fancy new furniture. Yeah. By the Good way, uh, we forgot to inform you that wow. Noah's groom's cake was a dragon. I love it so much. His mom told us that. <laughs> that is a woman who must be in love. <laughs> oh, Kelsey, what an angel. Okay, welcome back, everybody. You know we love our friends at the Kentucky Historical Society in Frankfurt. Our buddy Doug High is here once again, and we hey. are so glad to see you. Oh, good to see you guys. See now, you, I, I take issue, though, with the with the intro. Lee, you said we were talking about cholera. I thought we were. We talked about cholera last time. I'm oh. telling you, he's going. I, His didn't mind read is going. My, I didn't read my notes. Well, it's 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 top of mind right now, right? <laughs> right. Everybody's sick, and, and I'm glad you're you're feeling Thank you 80 so much. to 90 percent. Yeah, I'm nearly back to normal, just you know. No one are just, yeah, they couldn't true. do it without us. Well, of course. So, so what are we saying. talking about if we're not talking about Well, I, I don't know. Uh, yacht Rock? <laughs> I'm not sure. What are we, what are we talking about? I like about? some Yacht Rock. I like it too. I didn't That's know I did until uh, our buddy Chris Tomlin told me I would, and then he played some tracks, and I'm like, oh yeah, this 70s is all my 70s and music. 80s, Light Rock, yeah. come on. Yacht Rock, I mean, And you're on a yacht. This is good. No, I think we're talking about Kentucky history. Yes, we are. I think we are. I thought cholera was part of that. Cholera, well, there was a great cholera story we shared with you last week. And thanks for having me back, by the way. Yeah. We're so glad to have you back. But and obviously your visit last week made a big impression on me. Well, so. the public rose up and said, we got to have more. <laughs> we got to have more. We <laughs> have yeah. no we memory. More cholera talk. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it be over, Doug. Tell us more. No, of course. Of course. Now, where were we? We, we killed 10% uh, of Lexington's population mm -hmm. in the 1833 cholera epidemic, right? Yeah, that's and right. I remember that. Yeah, you guys were horrified by that. It's crazy and to we, think. We kind of left yeah. that hanging there, yeah. 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 Okay, so what else? Well, we, we want to give uh, your folks, your viewers, a sneak peek on uh, the Kentucky History Treasure coming That's up. right. Now, okay. you guys know these things are features that we do yep. on ABC 36 News. Yep. We roll them out Sunday nights at 11 uh -huh. and then Mondays at 9. Okay. So what's coming up for, for Sunday night is a really cool story. So we've got the Civil War, yep. right? All right. Uh, a Kentuckian in the 6th uh, Kentucky Cavalry mm -hmm. finds himself in the notorious Andersonville prison down in Georgia. Ooh. Terrible place, yeah. right? A lot of people died there. 13,000 men dead out of 45,000 people. Yeah. So he survives this, mm -hmm. right? It's incredible. Cool. Yeah. He, takes, he catches a ride home back up north on the Sultana. Now, do you guys does uh -huh. this sound familiar? Yeah, the yeah, Sultana yeah. disaster. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, the air superiority of the North is <laughs> what helped win the war. A lot of people Little don't known know fact. That. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you, Lee, for, <laughs> for eliminating that. Uh, the Sultana disaster, worst uh, U.S. maritime disaster still on the books. 1,800 dead from this uh, steamboat that blew up on the Mississippi. All it was filled with Union prisoners of war going on. Did he home. survive that too? He did not. Oh, he well, did this not. guy can't catch a break. So we have this item in our, our in our archive at the Kentucky Historical Society. Yeah. It's this little wooden block that he'd carved while he was a prisoner at Andersonville. Oh wow! All of the of the battles that he'd fought in. Yeah. We don't know how we got it. We don't know if they, we found it on his body after the mm -hmm. Sultana. We don't know if he mailed it home. I mean, you know, FedEx, U UPS, sure. UPS, you know, all those guys. UPS yeah. Air. We don't know how we yeah. got this, but. <laughs> It's it's a pretty cool artifact because it ties together. It, it brings the Kentucky into two huge stories from mm -hmm. the Civil War. So mm -hmm. just That's a small example of what we got going on over there, guys. But yes. Do you think right before the explosion, this guy thought, well, that was the worst thing to ever happen to a person? <laughs> <laughs> right. so, I survived it's the Andersonville so prison. Awful. You survive Andersonville Thank God prison. I went through that. So I could get to the rainbow, and you then end, you end up on some the idiot down below smoking a cigarette blew the whole thing. Close, yeah, it was a, a, a crack in the boiler. A crack in and, the boiler. And they thought they'd fixed it, yeah. but but mm. no. So. That, that was a hit song they as well. They Years thought, later, crack <laughs> in the boiler. Crack in the boiler. Yeah, it's a, it's a real good ditty. Oh. Absolutely, it's a bop. They thought they fixed it. They thought they fixed it. <laughs> they thought they fixed it, and obviously, yeah, they did. <laughs> they. So. Yeah. They, what are you gonna do? It's always somebody. It's but that a, is what I love about you guys at your um, at your office. They make there. it come to life. They do. We and try. You, you, I love the story. So if you go and see him in Frankfurt, like those artifacts are so cool to see anyway. Just when you think the years that those have been, you know, in existence, and then you guys have them, but also the story that goes with them. You learn about these people that were real people that lived right here where well, we live. And people think this is so far flung. We're yeah. talking about 150 years ago. Yeah. We're talking about a couple of generations, right? Yeah. You throw mm -hmm. a few grandparents back and you're there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So to be able to, to look at this artifact and, and tie this Kentucky into these events, it, it hopefully encourages you to read more and to yes. learn more about, right. about our uh, big history here in the Commonwealth. That's right. So, again, this Sunday and then on Monday. Sunday night at 11 on ABC 36 yes. News. By yeah. the way, uh, just looking at us, I feel like we're at the airport. 
<laughs> then it looks like we're at the lounge. Well, you we are we, obsessed with air travel in we, this we've interview. We've got the same blazer on for I'm some reason. Look, guys, we're at the airport. You look great. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you, no, buddy. Good to see you guys.